Have you ever had a bad experience doing your laundry at SJSU? Maybe all the machines needed maintenance, or there were just none open. Well, you aren't alone. In this video, I'll go over the current laundry facilities for SJSU residents and how UHS can improve the laundry facilities. First, let's look at the current laundry room provided for residents at SJSU. Each residential building on campus has a dedicated laundry facility in CVA, CVB, CVC, CV2, Joe West, and Washburn. This photo is of a laundry facility at CVB. Generally, all the laundry rooms look similar to this. The washers are located at the bottom row and the dryers are located at the top row. A student sent this video in and it shows the typical thing you might see at the laundry rooms. As you can see, the machines can get pretty noisy. In a survey I conducted, I asked the participants how their experience when using the laundry machines were on a scale of 1 to 10, and all 8 of them gave a 4 or below. They were also asked if they were satisfied with the overall laundry room, and all of which found that the laundry rooms were not satisfying their needs. Many of the good things about the laundry room, such as the convenience, are heavily outweighed by the bad things about the laundry room, such as oftentimes the machines are broken, and malfunctioning and many students came up with some improvements they would like to see in the laundry rooms. One student brought up the idea of having free of cost machines although this doesn't fix the maintenance problems that are often happening it will take off some financial burdens that a student may have. Another improvement a student wanted to see is having more machines due to the fact that there are not enough machines for a full building of people. This is a great solution to the problem many students are facing when trying to do their laundry. In one of the students' experiences, they said, one time I carried my laundry all the way down from the top floor, and when I got to the laundry room, all the machines were being used. There were about five of the machines that were empty, but that was because they were either broken or out of service. I believe that with these shared experiences, us students can get together and voice our concerns to the university housing services. So hopefully I explained it well enough about how the laundry facilities work at SGSU and some of the general opinions about the facilities that we have. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.